Hello everyone. In this lesson today, we will study uh, in 2A. Okay, we'll say 2A here, the Browns. The Browns is the family name. Okay, and this is the family. And how many members in the family? How many members means how many people in the family? We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have ten uh, people in this family. Okay, and here Ben and Mary. We have two rings. This is this means they are married. Okay, Nick and Pam married. Greg and Martina married. Okay, and here um, we know that. Um, normal families for example in arabic country normal family maybe uh, five or six children but in uh, in europe as you can see here okay we say we are a typical british family typical british family means normal okay not big not small this is means here typical okay um, typical usually means like two children, three children, typical. Okay, so here and we say in this here, we say the word divorced. Okay, divorced, divorced. Look at the family again here. Divorced, we have Nick and Pam married. Greg and Martina are married. Jill, not married. Divorced. Jill is divorced. Divorced means before she was married. She married before, but now no problem. After that, not married. This is divorced. Okay. So here in this box, okay, uh, who speaks here? Pam. Pam speaks here and Greg speaks here and Alan speaks here so here we have these words husband son daughter father mother brother and children okay so let's do uh, the first one together after that you do the others on your own Okay, so we are here. We are a typical British family, I think. My husband's name is Nick. Okay, so here we have Nick. Nick is her husband. Okay, so and we've got two. Two what? Here we have these two. Okay, a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. So we have here what? Two children okay so we have here two children a boy and a girl our son's name is ruby hmm. ruby is our son okay so the girl is uh florence okay is our what our daughter okay so here we have this family okay so stop the video read fill in the gaps okay after that we listen and you check okay let's listen now track 37 track 37 we're a typical british family i think my husband's name is nick and we've got two children, a boy and a girl. Our son's name is Robbie, and Florence is our daughter. She's just a baby. And my parents? Well, Ben is my father, and Mary is my mother. I've got one brother, his name's Greg, and one sister, Jill. My wife's name is Martina, and we've got one son, Alan. He's 19 years old now. I've got two sisters, Pam and Jill. Pam's married with two kids and Jill's divorced. My parents' names are Ben and Mary. They've got three children and three grandchildren. Two grandsons, Alan and Robbie, 
and a granddaughter, Florence. My mum and dad's names are Greg and Martina. I've got two aunts, Pam and Jill, and one uncle. His name's Nick and he's a doctor. I've also got two cousins, Robbie and Florence. My grandparents' names are Ben, he's my grandfather, and Mary, my grandmother. Okay, so let's have the answers here as well. Okay, so after you listen and you check. Okay, so this is the answer. You write all the answers here. You can listen again and practice. Okay, so now we want to know the meaning of these words. Okay, so we will go to page 130. Vocabulary 2.3130. Okay, so here we have this table. Okay, in this table, a male means a man or a boy, female, woman, or girl, male and female, two man, woman, boys, girls. Okay, so here we say male for father, you can say father or dad female mother or mom two together parents for example i am in the supermarket with my father and my mother then i see my friend i say i uh, tell my friend this is my father this is my mother no you say these are my parents okay son daughter and children or you can say kids brother and sister husband and wife wife uh, plural is wives this is irregular grandfather grandmother grandparents two together parents grandparents grandson granddaughter two together you say grandchildren uncle and aunt uncle is your father's brother or your mother's brother Aunt is your father's sister or your mother's sister. Cousin, okay, for boys and girls. Okay, here we have uh, something important to talk about. Okay, so be careful with O in spelling. We don't say son, son, son. And A U G H always O. So, do. O U uh, A U G H A U G H O A U G H O daughter brother again here O we say bra bra brother here S we say hus not s husband okay and what else here mm, uncle you we say ah uh, ah uh, uncle aunt you silent you say aunt aunt no you and s here again is z okay so now let's repeat these words and be careful because here people say father mother no we say father mother father mother father mother parents parents son son daughter daughter children children kids kids brother brother sister sister husband husband wife wife wives wives grandfather grandfather here the stress on grand okay so we say grandfather not grandfather no grandfather grandmother grandparents grandson granddaughter grandchildren uncle uncle aunt aunt 
cousin, cousin, cousins. Okay, and we have something very important to say here. Let's go to the uh, board. Okay, so here you say, for example, I am. Um, okay, so for a man, say a man. Okay, and girl friend. Okay, and. For, for example, a woman, woman, boy, friend. Okay, so here you say. A man with boyfriend, okay, we have love, okay, so we have love and the same here, a woman with a boyfriend, we have love, so we have love here. Okay, and a mistake, for example, uh, Sally, okay, Sally is my friend. She is a woman and she is my friend, okay. Bill is my friend. So these are normal sally is a girl and she is my friend so sally is a girl and she is my friend okay bill is a man and He is my friend. So friend for a boy or a girl, no problem. So if you have a friend, okay, so Sally, friend. Okay, Bill, friend. So a man and a woman, okay. A man and a girl, a friend, love. A woman and a boyfriend, love. Don't say, for example, you say, Bill is my boyfriend. Okay, so for example, we say here a man talk about a man, say boyfriend, no, or girl talk about girlfriend, say boyfriend, no. So here the same, we say a man and boyfriend love and a girl and girl friend love okay so a man and a boyfriend love and this is not normal okay this is for uh, you know in Europe and uh, in America yes a man and boyfriend it's okay but this is not normal okay so be careful don't say that you are a man you don't say 
uh, Bill is my boyfriend, for example. You are a girl, you don't say Sally is my girlfriend. Okay, be careful. So all uh, men and women, just friends. A girlfriend, after that you get married. Boyfriend, after that you get married. Okay, so, and here we have, you see, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a man or woman you have a romantic relationship with. How many uh, nouns to ask about a number? How many children have you got? Okay, uh, dad, mom, and kids are informal. Uh, people say, for example, in the street, this is my dad, the, this is my mom, these are my kids. Okay guys, so let's move to uh, exercise number three. In number three, we write four questions with how many about people in the Family tree, for example, how many brothers and sisters has Pam got? How many children have Mary and Ben got? Okay, so let's go to the board to see how we uh, we write questions, okay? Okay guys, so uh, we will study now questions with how many, okay? So how do we write questions with how many? Uh, first of all, Yes, we say, for example, this is an example. How many cats have you got? How many cats has he got? So this is how we write the question. Okay, for example, we start with how many after that plural nouns. Always after how many we write plural nouns. After that we write have or has. Then the subject after that got. Okay. So, how many steps we have? One, how many? Two, plural nouns. Three, have or has. Four, subject. Five, got. Okay? And we'll have examples about these here. This is a family, the family tree. We have here Ben, Mary, Nick, Pam, Jill, Greg, Martina, Ruby, Florence, and Alan. Okay, let's start with Jill. For example, we ask some questions about Jill. How many? We start with how many. After that, what do we want to ask about? We write in plural. How many sisters? After that, this is the first step. How many? After that, what you want to ask about? In plural. Okay. After that, number three, we write has. But why? Why do we write has? Because of the subject. The subject, he, she, it, we write here has. After that, we write got. Okay, let's take a, an example about Ben. Okay, how many? How many what? For example, how many sons? Because after how many we write plural. How many sons? Has. Why has? Because we talk about Ben. Ben is uh, a man, uh, he. So we say how many sons has he got? Okay, now let's see Greg. How many? After that, what do we want to ask about? Sons. How many sons? Okay. Have. Ah, Greg and Martina. Why we wrote have? Because two people, they. So how many sons have? Greg and Martina got. So I ask about he or she. I write has. They. I write have. Okay. The last one. We have Alan. How many? How many what? Brothers and sisters, always plural, okay? Has, after has, we should write he or she. So here we have Alan and got, okay? So everything here together, how many plural nouns? After that, have and has. Why have, I, you, they, we, okay? After uh, he, she, it, we write has. Okay, so... Exercise number four. Okay. 
Exercise number four here. Take the correct sentences, change the, uh, the words in bold in the incorrect sentence. sentences. For example, we see here, Jill is Pam's cousin. Jill, where's Jill? This is Jill, okay, and this is Pam. So, Jill is Pam's cousin? No, Jill is Pam's sister, okay? So, this is the wrong one, okay? Here, Ben is Mary's husband. Let's see. Here, Ben and Mary. Ben is a husband and Ben is Mary's husband. Very good. Okay. So, look at the family tree. Okay. And write true or false. If it's false, write the correct answer. Okay. Stop the video. Do the exercise. After that, check. Okay, let's check now. Okay, so number two is correct. Number three, uh, Jill is Alan's cousin. Okay, no. Jill is Alan's aunt. Four, Alan is Martina's son. Yes, that's true. Five, Nick and Pam are Ruby's grandparents. Okay, Nick and Pam are Ruby's <coughs> parents. Six is true, okay? Okay, so here, before we move, okay, how do we write uh, these sentences here? Okay, so first of all, let's write it here. For example, first of all, we'll start with the subject. So, Jill, okay, number one, we can say Jill is a sister, okay, Jill is a sister, not a brother, okay, we talk about Pam, Jill and Pam, Jill is a sister, okay, after that we say Jill is, we delete a, and write the name, Pam's sister, okay? And very important that we write S possessive, okay? This is possessive, we write Pam's sister. Jill is Pam's sister. So here we have this sister for what? For Jill, okay? Now, if I want to write, for example, here we have uh, Jill and Bam. Okay, what about Greg? Okay, I want to write about Greg. I, uh, Greg, here, for example, I want to change uh, Pam with Greg. Okay, so I write, let's write it here. Okay, Pam, sorry, uh, Jill. And uh, Greg. Okay. So again, I will write here. Okay. We say Jill is a sister. So Jill is a sister because she is a woman. So we say Jill is uh -huh, Greg's sister. Okay, now I want to write the opposite. So, for example, I will write here Greg and Jill. So, we say Greg is a what? Sister or brother? Greg is a brother because he is a man. So, we say Greg is a brother. Okay, and we delete a uh, and we say Greek is Jill's brother. Jill's brother. So here we say sister comes for what? For who? For Jill. And brother for Greek. So what we write at the end here, the last one. Okay, is for the first one. The last one is the 
first one. Okay, if I want to write again here, for example, another example, I write Ben and Mary. Mm. So I write here Ben is a what? Wife or husband? So Ben is Ben is a man. So Ben is a husband. Okay. So Ben is who? Mary. And is Mary's husband. Ben is Mary's husband. And again, we write it here. This is husband for Ben. Okay, husband for Ben. Okay, so this is the same as we wrote here. Okay, and look here we have this grandparents. Okay, Nick and Pam. Okay, uh, Mary is here. We write is why. Okay, here we write Mary is because we talk about she and Nick and Pam, two people are. Okay, are. And another thing here we write, we say Ruby and Florence together. Okay, one is. We don't write Ruby's and Florence's grandmother. No, we say Ruby and Florence. So, very important here you understand. We have Mary is, one person is, Nick and Pam are. After that, we have Ruby, one person is, two people, okay? The last name, we add S, Ruby and Florence, Florence's grandmother, okay? Now, let's see uh, the next exercise in the next exercise we will have the different <clears throat> here the difference between here is all of them contraction is here apostrophe s is apostrophe s has apostrophe is uh, apostrophe s possessive s okay so what's the difference? How can I know? Mm. Okay, let's do this together. Okay, number one, very easy. Okay, so number one, very easy. I have here got. Every time I have got, uh-huh, yes. So it's always has got. Okay, so this is number one, always got, so this is has got, together. So this one is here, um, has, okay. Number two, always, if I want to write a sentence, I will always start with a subject. Okay, so here we have subject plus, okay, verb to be. This is rule in English. I always write a subject after that verb to be. Okay, so where is the subject? Where is the verb to be? I come here and I say gel is the subject verb to be is so gel is the subject after that verb to be so it will be is okay so this is is now when i look at number one ben is so i have subject and verb to be the same let me see subject and verb to be Okay, so Ben is, after that I have 
this is so I have subject and verb to be so it's not is it's not a I don't have got so it's not has so here it's what possessive s and after possessive s I have a noun possessive s I have a noun okay so this will be Pams. okay possessive s with noun it will be possessive s okay so this is about how we know if apostrophe s is or has or possessive now let's move to exercise number six here the same thing we did before we have two names Pam and Alan and you write sentence Pam is what aunt well, whose aunt Pam, uh, Pam is Alan's aunt Greg and Martina Greg is a man so we say Greg uh -huh. Greg is husband or wife of course husband who is husband Martina is Martinez and don't write don't forget uh, apostrophe s possessive s so Martinez husband okay so now stop the video do number three uh, four and five after that check we check together okay and let's check here this is the answer okay they say Ruby and Florence Ruby is Florence's brother Ruby is the brother Mary is Ben's wife Florence is Ben and Mary's and we have one apostrophe uh, s with the possessive s grand daughter okay let's hear we'll uh, listen and practice track 38 Alan's Pam is Alan's aunt Martina's Greg is Martina's husband Florence's Robbie is Florence's brother Ben's Mary is Ben's wife Ben and Mary's Florence is Ben and Mary's granddaughter Okay, so uh, let's move to the next exercise okay so here as you know we have in the family we have Jill and Jill uh, is not married she is divorced this is the word we talked about divorced before married but now no problem with her husband so now she is not married she has she has got a new boyfriend now and she has these photos she talks with her boyfriend about these photos about the family okay so now what we do we will listen to Jill talks with her boyfriend and put these photos in order photo number one number two number three and number four track 39 let's put the photos here okay now listen track 39 luke come and look at these photos of my family okay right this is my sister pam and her husband nick pam's an english teacher isn't she yes that's right what about nick he's a doctor oh right how many children have they got two a boy and a girl look here's a photo of them Hmm. How old are they? 
Uh, Robbie is six and Florence is about ten months old. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. And this is my brother Greg. He's an engineer. And who's that? That's Greg's wife, Martina. She's from Italy. Oh, and that's their son, Alan. How old is he? Alan? He's 19. He's a student at Cambridge University. Really? Yes. He loves it there. And these are my parents. They're retired now. How old are they? Mum's 70 and Dad's 73. And that's Lily, my favourite member of the family. Sorry, where? There. Oh, the cat. Yes. She's beautiful. Okay, guys, so let's check the answers. The answers here. So the, the photos are number 1C, 2D, 3A, 4B. Okay. Okay, now we will listen again. Okay, and in this exercise here, you listen again and choose the correct word. Jill's sister Pam is an English teacher or French. She is an English teacher. But now you will listen again, okay, and choose the correct word. Track 39. Luke, come and look at these photos of my family. Okay. Right. This is my sister Pam and her husband Nick. Pam's an English teacher, isn't she? Yes, that's right. What about Nick? He's a doctor. Oh, right. How many children have they got? Two. A boy and a girl. Look, here's a photo of them. Hmm. How old are they? Uh, Robbie is six and Florence is about ten months old. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. And this is my brother Greg. He's an engineer. And who's that? That's Greg's wife, Martina. She's from Italy. Oh, and that's their son, Alan. How old is he? Alan? He's 19. He's a student at Cambridge University. Really? Yes. He loves it there. And these are my parents. They're retired now. How old are they? Mum's 70 and Dad's 73. And that's Lily my favourite member of the family. Sorry, where? There. Oh, the cat. Yes, she's beautiful. OK, guys, so let's check the answers. OK, here's the answer. Number two, doctor. Three, six, four, engineer. Five, Italian. Six, retired. Seven, 73 <clears throat> okay so here in um, exercise number 10 sentence stress again and here as we talked before we said these uh, this stress we put on uh, important words for example here Luke is a name and come and look we say come and look we don't say come and look at these photos of my family no say come and look at these photos of my family come and look at these photos of my family L listen here at the beginning track 39 Luke come and look and yeah, this is the first sentence here Luke come and look at these photos of my family okay Luke Come and look at these photos of my family. Okay. Luke, come and look at these photos of my family. Okay. And you say so. And, at, uh, of. These are not important words. When I speak with you, for example, I say, come, look, these photos, family. So you can understand the general idea of the. Um, of the sentence okay so they are not important and this is you will study later in the other levels don't worry about it okay guys so um, in this lesson we started uh, with the family tree and we uh, learned some words about the family 
father, mother, kids, parents, everything here. Okay, and we talked about boyfriend and girlfriend. And after that, in exercise number three, we studied how we uh, write questions with how many. Then how we write sentences. For example, Jill is Bam's sister. And how we know the difference between um, is, has, and possessive. After that, we studied listening. Okay, and we did this exercise. Okay, so uh, that's it for uh, this video. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye.